welcome. Uh, thank you for purchasing this reading from Autumn Fay Crafts, this tea leaf reading. I'm so excited to do this for you. I uh, absolutely love doing tea leaf readings. So. Let me get started by showing you first what I've got set up here. So, right over here I have um, this rose plant. Um, I connect very well with the spirits of nature and such like that. So I usually have a plant out and rose just gives off wonderful, loving energies. I have a um, just an oil, uh, incense oil burning right there. Um, over here I have my fairy guide candle. Um, the fae are my guides, so I connect with them whenever I'm doing reading and such like that. So that's my fairy guide candle. Um, this candle right here is my connection for you. It's just a tea light candle, so it was specifically in, uh, called on and infused um, to connect with your energies. Um, and it's only for this reading. Um, right here I have a amethyst, a little double terminated amethyst, and a moonstone. Um, both of these stones are really good to help with, um, uh, help you connect with uh, intuition and um, third eye, chakra, psychic, things like that. That's the kind of energy that they give off. Okay, and here is the tea. So I'm going to show you. There's milk and honey, or milk and sugar in it. That's why it's cloudy. Um, also in here is a little bit of mugswort, which helps connect with the uh, more intuitive energies and uh, psychic energies as well. And also um, some gem elixir, um, amethyst and quartz gem elixir. So let me let you in and or let me tell you what I'm going to do and how this is going to go. Um, so first I'm, I'm just showing you right now that this is the tea and the setup and everything like that. And then I will drink the tea and while I'm drinking the tea I'm just focusing all of my energies on connecting with your higher self and all the information that you need um, and want to receive. So your um, question was um, uh, really there really wasn't necessarily a question just any information and stuff like that about um, this next year so um, what I'm going to do is um, tea leaf readings are um, can be kind of um, very vague if there isn't a specific question asked which is okay um, usually what I do in that instance though is I'll draw one um, oracle card from one of my decks just to get a um, overall um, theme for this next year for you since that's your question um, what kind of energy like what's the most prevalent energy that way I have something to reference um, the tea uh, the, the tea leaf reading with so that's what I'll be doing so I will be back in just a few minutes after I go ahead and connect with your energies and um, drink this tea and everything. I just didn't think you wanted <laughs> me to sit here and drink tea on camera. So I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, um, all the tea is gone. <laughs> so now I'm just going to fill it. So I'm just kind of restating your question. Okay. Possible it's going to make a mess. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so it's going to sit for just a few minutes, just like that, and um, then I will look at the inside. It's got to settle for a minute. 
Okay, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the, this deck and I'm using the Earth Magic deck. Um, I'm just going to shuffle this really quick and pull one card out. And we'll see what the basic theme is for this next year that we can relate the rest of the reading to. This card says communion. Okay. So I did, I want to let you know that I did uh, flip the cup over and take a glance at the, um, the tea leaves because a lot of times um, it takes a while to go through and um, find the little symbols and stuff like that and um, because I do it, you know, I look at it one way and then I, I'll flip the cup around and look at it a different way and find all the possible symbols that I can find in there and write them down and get my feelings and do all that. And that process can take a while. I probably spent about 45 minutes doing this, um, possibly a little bit longer. So I didn't want all of that on camera while I'm uh, doing that process, only because it, it's 45 minutes and, you know. Um, so I did do that so that I could give you, you know, the clearest, best reading that, um, that is possible. However, I didn't pull the card out before that, um, so there is new information now in, um, you know, in how the, the symbols and stuff relate to your reading. So let's flip this over and I will show you how I do the reading and also, um, I want to let you know that um, at any time if you see, sometimes you can maybe see a different, a different um, like l or other little things in here that um, just you see or something that I say, um, uh, 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 um, a figure or something that I say in the reading could spark something else with your own intuition. Um, what I'm saying is accurate and is to what it is, but if something sparks your in your own intuition, um, take that into account, account first and then see what I say also and how it relates to you. But I want you also to know that if your intuition is telling you something specific about one of the um, symbols in the reading, listen to it. Um, and also know that none of this in the readings are set in stone. It's not a permanent thing. Readings are a, um, any kind of reading, oracle card readings, rune readings, tea leaf readings, palmistry, anything like that is a probable future based on your path right now and, and like where your energies are headed right now. So if anything, anytime you don't like uh, where that probable future is going, it's absolutely in your own abilities to change. I just, that's like a disclaimer to anybody, to everybody, <laughs> that um, any readings like that are within your power to change. So let's go ahead and get started, and I will show you how I do my um, readings here. Okay, so, um, the way that I do it at first is the, um, cups all wobbly. The, the handle represents you, okay, so I go right here, and because you wanted to know about 2013 and this year, the way that I've done it is, um, kind of, uh, like a cross, like a sun wheel, um, and split it, so this right here, uh, represents 
like the spring equinox um, time frame and then at the quarter we've got the summer solstice um, time frame so summer um, the autumn equinox across from the spring equinox um, and the winter solstice over here so that's the basic time frame that we're looking at also um, messages at the bottom of the cup are deep um, usually emotional and such messages um, and so you can see in here I don't know if you can see this big area right here is um, a crescent moon and this crescent moon symbolizes you coming to fullness in who you are um, coming into your own and that's the basic theme of this reading and if you see this card as well communion uh, meaning with your soul like coming coming together um, with your true self so they do match up there um, and I, I want to let you know that while I was doing your reading um, I saw many many horses many horses in here um, in fact, I think that uh, the horse could be either your animal guide or could be your um, like your spirit guide, uh, animal totem guide, um, and always has been, or could possibly be here to just um, help you through this time in your life. Um, the horse in general represents good news. And I don't know if you can see it right here, but I, this is something that I didn't really see before. This right here, um, it looks like a horse jumping to me. Um, I can also see a wolf and a bear in there. Okay, let's go through here really quick and see if I can show you the things that I've seen in here. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to point out um, that I saw where I saw a lot of faces in your um, in the tea leaves meaning your um, uh, me it it just symbolizes a lot of change and and let me tell you from this reading I've gotten a lot of change this year um, a lot of coming into your own power and your own strength We'll start right here. You can see. Um, hold on one moment. There is at the bottom right here, closer to the bottom. I don't know how well you can uh, truly see what's going on here. Um, there is a teapot at the bottom down here, meaning um, any illness, perceived illness that you feel like uh, could occur or you feel like you're going through right now is minor, um, just to let you know that part. Um, okay, and right here right along this upper edge there is a there's a dog right here um, and then right up here on top of this dog there is a what looks like to me to be like a little a little devil or something um, and it looks slightly different on the camera than when I look at it in the cup. Right on here on the camera, it looks like it could be a little pig. But um, when I did the when I did the reading, it's the this little devil on top of this dog here, symbolizing that a friend that you feel is rather close to you um, could have ulterior motives in the relationship. Someone that you feel is loyal to you possibly is not. And this is on, you know, the middle region of the cup right here, indicating that it's not simply a shallow 
uh, situation, but it's not, it's also not a extremely deep situation also. I don't know if you can see a horse's head right here. Okay, there's a horse's head. I'm just going to point out all the little horses that I see to you when I see them in the cup. There's also a horse right here. Um, and I've seen, I saw one little one, I don't know if it'll point, if it'll pick it up on the camera. Um, several of them I've seen jumping, which I, I, like with a person on them, and I'm wondering if you were ever involved with horses, um, jumping. I'm not sure, it's just something that caught my attention when, uh, when I was doing the reading, something that I felt like could po be possible. Um, okay, at the bottom of the cup right right here it doesn't look like much on camera but it's actually in one when I turn the cup this way it's a little cross right there at the bottom when I turn the cup this way right there okay it's a little bird um, and it's at the bottom of the cup indicating that you um, it indicates good fortune. I also saw quite a few birds in here, and especially birds in flight. And the birds in flight indicate um, freedom. Um, they indicate good fortune, things like that. That, um, like I said, change is a big theme with you this year. And this reading was really exciting to do. Actually, watching, like seeing through the like the year. Um, the different changes and stuff and different little symbols that had shown up showing your change it was really exciting but the the cross and the bird symbolizes that you may have to make several sacrifices to really truly know who you are um, and come into your own um, and owning your own power um, that's what that symbolizes the um there's a rocking horse at the bottom right here okay um another just another good news um and then if i look in here right now i see another horse almost in uh prancing like in a dressage if you see it right here um and then again this one just to me looks like he's jumping and then there's another outline of a horse's head um and the horse also represents freedom and freedom of expression and freedom of self and just like a wild spirit so um that's a good you know the horse is always all has always been a symbol of good luck and good fortune um and you have a lot of horse symbols in here so there's definitely a freedom happening there is also, let me find him, a little bunny right here. You can see the little ears. The little bunny represents, he's there reminding you that um, you are brave. And to believe in yourself through this process. Um, of change and stuff like that. Just he's just there reminding you not to be so timid. You know, bunnies are awfully timid. He's just there reminding you not to be so timid. Be brave and be bold because and believe in yourself. Um, okay. There's something else. Taking a little bit of notes. Um. right there's a bird in flight right here i don't know if you can see it right there um bird in flight here's another face right there there's a little face i was telling you i saw a lot of faces in your reading there's one right there um there's a a bird in flight right here another one indicating um good news uh and like just a lot of change and uh, again gain, gaining independence like um, uh, the bird in flight just just is a symbol of gaining independence and and, and uh, freedom you know um, okay winter solstice this one 
is extremely interesting. At one angle, I'm trying to see how I saw it. One angle, it's a turtle. And at another angle, I had seen a man running. And the man running and the turtle, the turtle symbolizes being true to yourself and finding your true self, like going within, you know, and finding your true self within. Um, and the man running represents that at the same time that this occurs, that you do find that inner self and that inner strength and, and just that, that glorious change that, that the whole reading is talking about, a man will enter your life and it will be, he's running, so it will be um, slightly sudden. Um, it, he enters your life around that same time. I'm not really sure if it's romantic. My first feeling is that it is a, a romantic thing, but I, I'm not sure. There wasn't anything indicating, any, anything indicating as of yet what that is. But there's a man entering your life around that time. And this happens at the autumn, here we are, okay, autumn, I'm sorry, winter solstice. This is the autumn equinox. This happens around the winter solstice. Um, slightly before the winter solstice, slightly after the winter solstice, we find that I don't know if you can see it right here. This was so exciting. Look at this. That is clearly like a tiger's head right there. And that is just such strength. Like such beautiful inner strength. It's it's immense. And it's kind of roaring like you have found it and you are just, just letting it go. Like just finding that inner strength. It's fantastic. And if that's just after or just at just after the winter solstice time area right here. And these are relatively loose um, guesstimates on time frame. That's just how I've separated it right there. So this reading is all about finding freedom and, and just finding... The 2013 is going to be all about finding like your inner strength and roaring like a lion over it. And... Um, there are just there's a lot of exciting things happening to you and there are symbols in here that like that certain friendships may have to leave um, certain certain things that could be kind of harder to overcome or to face and deal with are going to occur but there are symbols in here like you know telling you and reminding you that you have the strength and the inner power and, and stuff to to just reminding you to to make it through and to find yourself and that and that the finding of yourself will be definitely worth any sacrifices that you have to make because any of the sacrifices that you are making or that you have to make this year are only for your greater good uh, even if it kind of hurts at the time so anyways I hope that this that you enjoyed your tea leaf reading. It was truly a blessing and exciting as all get out to do for you. I was totally excited to do it. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a blessed 2013. Blessed be.